Hi everybody and welcome back to our channel. In today's video I am taking you with me to grab some sensory toys for the girls Christmas tables. I'm only going to use a budget of around $20 so let's get to it. We are. Why are we going to the shop? We have to buy some more um, toys. Yeah, some Christmas toys to play with. Because, because the last ones are getting really weird. No, we're just going to get some new ones. There's nothing wrong with the last ones. Shall we go? Yep. Yep. Okay, we are in our local cheap shop and I'm going to pick up some of the sensory toys here and then the second stop is going to be at Coles. So most of it is coming from here and they're such a good bargain. So let's get them. Amira, come here. Which pom-poms do you want? Do you want these ones or these ones? Um, the rainbow ones. The rainbow ones? You get them? Good girl. Okay. Let's do this. Let's do this? Yeah. Okay. Can you pick up the pipe cleaners for mommy? Good girl. We need to problem solve. Can you hold these ones for mommy? Yep. Thank you. What two Christmas stars? Yeah, we're making some Christmas toys. Pom poms. Pom poms. And Christmas pom poms? Yeah, and some pipe cleaners. Now, other things. Do you want to hold this for Mama? Yes, Is it too much or do you want me to give it to Zoe? Um, it's not too much. Okay. Okay, Zoe, you ready? I need to hold it both. Just wait. I can hold it both now. Here you go, Zoe. You say thank you. Good girl. Now, Amira. Yes? I need your help, okay? Do you want these Christmas trees or these Christmas trees? This one. That one? I can do it. Okay. I can do it in my bag. <laughs> you are a great helper. Yes, I am. Okay. Now, the last thing we've got to get is some Christmas bells. Shall we go find some Christmas bells? Yes. Yes? That's a good idea. Thank you. Can you see the Christmas bells? Yes. They're on this side. They're all the way up here. How are you going? Got lots of Christmas. Good helping, Zoe. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm okay, Mama. Okay. Why did they move it there? That's it, that's it. Okay, the last thing I'm gonna get is some barbecue trays because... Barbecue trays? Yeah, because this will hold the sensory play in. Barbecue trays? Barbecue trays. What's barbecue trays? Here, I can hold it. No, it's okay. We're back in the car now and I got some bargains. I'm so excited. So I'll show you when we get home. We are home now and I'm so excited to show you what I bought. From the cheap shop, I only spent $20, which is an absolute bargain, and then a further $1.30 at Coles to get the pasta. So let's see what treasures I found. So 
everything that you see here I got from searching on Pinterest Christmas themed sensory play and I'm not recreating the wheel at all so if you want to be further inspired then by all means I highly suggest checking out Pinterest. I am going to first of all tie dye the pasta because that's going to take some time to soak up the food coloring and then to fully dry and then I will make the trays and I'm also recycling some plastic bottles as well that we have for like soft drink or when we went to the Christmas carols. First tip with making these sensory play things is don't be afraid to experiment, try new things. I haven't dyed pasta before, I've dyed rice for work. <laughs> but the first thing I did was go onto YouTube and just search food coloring dye pasta and there were a couple of things that you needed to have so I'm going to be using hand sanitizer because of the alcohol in here otherwise someone even suggested vodka um, don't know how I feel about that as a parent and then I've just got some food coloring in they said to use a mason jar and then to get one of these ziploc bags open it up Put it inside your mason jar and then that way you can put the pasta inside of it and then add a tablespoon of alcohol rubbing stuff and some food coloring. They recommend around 20 dots of food coloring to make it super vibrant. So let's get to it. Today I am going to be using two different pastas because I'm trying to get smooth and rough textures for Zoe and Amira. So I've got penne and spirals. and I just leave it for 15 minutes to soak in. Now that the penne is done, I'm gonna go onto the spiral pasta. I'm really looking forward for the girls to be experimenting with smooth and rough textures. I think it's a great learning opportunity. And this is so quick and simple, and I'm sure it's gonna be loads of fun for them to play with. for my pasta to be ready to put into the trays I am gonna work on these sensory bottles so this was a bottle that was given to us when we went to a Christmas breakup party and another just soft drink bottle I've cleaned them out washed them out and they're ready to go and my goal for these bottles is for it to be an experience of like color and sound it's not necessarily texture because the texture will go into the trays I really like the look of this. I think it looks visually pleasing because this is the thing with these sensory bottles. The next step after it's visually pleasing is to put a little bit of sand in there because Zoe loves to shake things as a 17 month old. Now the other thing I'm gonna do quickly before I put the pipe cleaners back in because I'm learning as I'm making this is I'm going to add the split peas in now so that way I'm not having to like shove it in between the pipe cleaners because that was hard. I am pleasantly actually beyond excited at how good this turns out. I think Zoe is going to love it because of the noise and the visual and I think Amira will enjoy playing with it too. It's time now to dry these out in the sun. So I've just got some baking trays with some baking paper on it so that it doesn't stain it. Okay, this is where I have absolutely no idea what I'm going to do, but I'm bringing you along on the journey. I have three barbecue trays, they're alfoil trays, and I'm going to fill them up with different things. I don't know if I'm gonna go for themes or textures or just a mix of everything, but stay tuned. So 
here we are back at the kids corner. I'm so excited to be showing you the final product. I think it turned out so well. There's definitely things that I learned along the way and thank you for just bearing with me as I try this new thing. I find that exploring the senses is a great way for this age group to learn, to have fun. It's just so important for them to play and it helped me to get into the festive spirit making these trays for them. I can't wait to show you their reaction and I'm really hoping it goes down well. Hello pretty girl. Guess what I did while you were sleeping? When you were sleeping, mommy made you something. Do you want to see what mommy made you? Yeah. Yeah? Yes! What is it? It's paper! It's Christmas activity no, toys. No. You pull them out and then you put them back in. That's it. I did it. Good job. Yeah. No, you put them back in the whisk. Whisk? Whisk. That's right. Do you like your Christmas activity table? Yes. Yeah. Mm, this is one stop. It's tricky, hey? <gasps> you did it! Good job. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and tap that button. I will see you in the next video.